In this video, we're going to talk about hanging. Hanging is an important part of our natural movement repertoire. It's also called brachiation. It's the ability to move really from one hand holding onto something onto another hand. The, the monkeys are brilliant at brachiation. We as humans are generally good at brachiation when we're kids. But somehow we lose that in our late teens, 20s, 30s, 40s and so on. So we need to get it back. First thing you want to try is this. Can you take your hand up over your head so that it is level with your ear and coming out the top of your head? I'm putting one hand here to see how much my ribs pop out. If, my, if I do this and I get to here and I end up correcting by going forward with my hips or sticking my ribs out, then maybe my shoulder isn't quite ready to support my body weight. Another way to test it is to go onto a wall and see if you can just uh, put your elbows and hands on the wall and see if you can take your elbows and hands up above your head. If you get stuck around here, again, you're probably not ready to hang your whole body weight on your shoulders. Okay, so if you're not ready for that yet, that's fine. You just take something like a, a sort of a door frame or uh, a tree or something and you end up just getting the weight in between your uh, hands and in your shoulders. And here I'm pulling my scapula or my shoulder blades forwards and backwards. And slowly over time, I can take my hands higher and higher and I can bend my knees so that my shoulders start to get a sense of what it's like to hold my whole body weight. Now, if you're confident with jumping up onto a bar holding the body weight, give it a go, okay? So, I have a bar here. This is what we call a dead hang. I want you to be able to hang in a dead hang for at least 30 seconds before you try anything else. All right, so if you can hang in a dead hang, see if you can do an active hang. An active hang is where I just bring my shoulder blades down my back. You see my head is coming up out of my shoulders. Active hang, hopefully you can do that for 30 seconds. Once you can do that, I wanna see if you can lift one finger up off the bar, and rather than putting your thumbs around the bar like this, bring them round to the top. Active hang, 30 seconds. Okay, so you've already got three different things to do. Once you can do that, active hang without the finger on, without the thumb being wrapped around, now you can try putting some movements into the hang. So the first thing we need to do is to be able to swing forwards and backwards. So with that, I'm just going to bring my feet forwards and backwards and my knees and let those be a drive forwards and backwards. Then we need to work on what we call the braking maneuver. So I need to stop myself from swinging. The way I'm going to do that is to bring my knees up towards my elbows and make my center of gravity really small. Okay, from here, I can go down with very little swing. That's called the braking maneuver. So give that one a go and see if you can control your forward backwards swing. The last part of hanging I want to share with you is what we call a lateral swing. So, holding up the bar, you're going to get your hips moving left and right. And then you'll find that you can lift one hand up as you do this. So you can see I'm taking one hand completely off the bar. And that's called the lateral swing. From there, you should have enough strength to be able to do monkey bars and to be able to really control your body weight in any which way you want as you're using your hands. All right, so go on, make yourself stronger and give swinging a go.